I will say years. in the new comp plan rules, you have to certify that you've looked at your regional plan and that it is not conflicting with the regional water plan. So it is, it is a requirement. And we, we just started, there's another, uh, we have mentioned here, the Army Corps of Engineers Silver Jackets Program doing uh, a flood reconnaissance study here with the city of Valdosta and, and it becomes a regional, it's a regional effort. Um, that same, that same group, uh, uh, this Corps of Engineers Silver Jackets is also doing this for Satilla, been awarded $150,000 in funding to do a reconnaissance study there. Um, and that's so new, we have, we, this is already done. And so we need at some point, that there's only one meeting, this group needs to A, hear about what, what, what happens. I know Scott couldn't make it that day and I went, so I'm waiting for the meeting minutes to come out, but right. we need to somehow, probably you and I, through email, disseminate a little blurb about that effort, sure. because it's very similar to this one, it's just handled by a different Corps of Engineer office, and then that needs to make it we'll also in here as well. well. And so that's, a, so, it's the same type of effort, but it's, it's just. It's the same, it's, it, it's the same, you know, it's the same effort, it's just a different, uh, it's right. a different part of it. Still in our region, but it's different. Exactly. So, you know, <coughs> right. Coastal, so. Right, well, um, I'll make sure I'm gonna get some language out of it. And that was at Waycross, that meeting in Waycross. Yes. Is it basically the Fed who knew what the state was just going to say again? Is it basically the Fed who knew what the state was just going to say? The Fed is, I believe, this, but they, they don't even know about this thing. You know, they don't know about it. Hard to believe. <laughs> but we've informed them, and, that's, and they've been nice enough to ask before we do anything. Is there anything you'd like to give us that would help? Eliminate duplication of efforts. I've got a lot of stuff. That's a good thing. So that $150,000, you can't hardly do a thing that you know that plane. But when you've got the plan that y'all have sitting on the table and 150, so you know what you don't have to redo. Now that money can be, can be leveraged to maximize the information. That you so it's a good thing. Some of the criteria they got to give you that funding, you have to just swallow that pill. Um, then, then there's also a lot of good things too. So when that effort just started, I couldn't even begin to characterize it because it's only been one meeting and they're right now just uh, throwing everything on the wall mm -hmm. to say, we could take talk about these hundred and fifty things, but you know, is there anything that you really think we need to focus on? That's where we are and I think it's gonna be a real good thing. The too. plans help direct traffic. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's certain ideas in that area that people want to get across, but um, and they didn't know about the plan, but uh, it'll help uh, prioritize the issues and then back domino them to make sure that they meet your, your goals and objectives. Uh, without that, you know, sky's the limit. So the, these things I'm finding are helping cap some ideas and direct direct people in certain ways. And that's just something that's organically happening. It's pretty amazing though to see these guys who work at different parts of you know, federal federal agencies or whatever, and they may be in Savannah or Atlanta, but then they come in and, and they say, well, well, so let's take a look at this plan. We've already, we did this three years ago. It's amazing to watch their face. It's like all of the burden and pain of the project that's been released because you, you did it already. Now we can actually do something with this money, and it's a good thing. So, it, and in that way, Joe, 